Practice makes perfect. Okay, mind your S-curve. Okay. Watch the tree. Okay, and feed the line out just a little bit. Get a little bit at a time. Once you get your confidence up, just feed it out. And start choosing your target, you know. Figure out where it's going to go. And in your mind, you just got to see it landing there. Figure out the steps. Just see it landing there. If you don't like it, target it somewhere else. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you get it down range, you don't like it, you can haul it in on your first swing. They had the single haul I was showing you earlier. And no double hauling. Not yet. Not there. But just the single hauling. Boom. Okay. There you go. Practice your swing now. Try to keep your wrist straight. None of this, so you're swinging your wrist back and forth. And that's what causes that. Okay? You start swinging your wrist back and forth and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. There you go. See how it kind of, t it, it almost, if you let it, will take care of itself. That's what a quality line will do for you. Okay? Mind the end of your rod. It's wrapped around the end of your rod, the other end. It's close to you. No, 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 son. I'm by the handle. There you go. You got plenty of line out. Now you got to stretch it a little bit. Get that tip head out of there. That's one way to do it. There you go. Mind your S curve. Nice, smooth. Just relax with it. Said you could be out here doing this all day. I know I could damn sure be out here doing this all day. Fish on. Fish on. Not there yet. Try not to be too aggressive. Just relax with it, buddy. Mind your wrist. So you're you're working your elbow and your wrist at the same time. There you go. Okay, I want you to start trying to get out there a little farther. Get out to the fence. There you go. Nice curve. No whipping. No whipping. That's the fastest way to lose a Chelsea Johnson special off the end of that joker. It's by whipping. Catch fish with those bad boys. Super, almost there. You see, you're kind of casting into a little breeze too, which makes it even more complicated. And we'll we'll work on that a little bit more. But you got plenty of line out there, and you see what I'm saying? As you get more line out there, it's heavier. And it seems like it would be harder to work with, but it's actually easier to work with because the more line you have, the farther out you can go. And you just have to figure out how to target with that long line. Right where you want it. There you go. It's over the fence. Perfect. You're getting the hang of it. But a quality rod. Good. Quality line, quality tips. No problem. Remember what I said, the 10-2 position. You're doing it, buddy. Good job. Not so far back on the back end, though. 10 and 2. Yeah, it's very good. You're doing a good job, son. Tighten up your elbow a little bit. Bring it in closer to your body. You don't want to be moving your whole body while you're doing this. No, you don't want to be moving. Just
Good job, buddy. Good job. I know it's getting hot, isn't it? Ten two. There you go. Ten two. You get a little sluggish there. Okay. Nice S curve. Nice S curve. There you go. Good presentation. Good job.